minutes yeah uh hello guys evening to all of you i think that we didn't play well at all we didn't came into the game i think it was one of the uh not so well played games from us but um I have also to give a congratulation to the opponent for a fair and, and tough game. The second half we played a, li a little bit better, but it was not the team that we know from the previous games, how long we played now, but okay. We take it, we got some experience, we will analyze the, the, the game. And then, of course, make it better to improve on this stage also. And ho hopefully we can do it and the next time better. Thank you. We'll take questions from the floor. Please identify yourself in the media. Yeah, the power FM. What didn't quite work well for you, Coach, today? Because you always seem to, even though Sandals made seven changes, but you always seem to, to not predict, but be able to understand or figure out what they're trying to do. So what didn't work out well today? Why do you think that we didn't understand what they, what they do? No, I'm not saying you didn't understand. I'm saying you always, you always what? get them. You always compete and get them. Yeah, but you uh, but you have to understand that we have a smaller squad. We we played now, uh, I think, the, the last or three days ago. And it's not easy if you play like uh, with almost with the same squad, almost only one player because of Bradley, he got the card, so he was like so suspended. And other teams like Sundowns, of course, they have what I got in formation, 46 players, and it's I know all of them are very good. So it's easy for them to get the fresh legs in, but we, but it should not be like an excuse. We came not well into the game, these kind of games happening. We knew exactly uh, how they want to do, do, do play. And we prepared ourselves after the, after the things, when we saw who will play, then we probably knew how they will play. But we were not close enough. They, they, they played between the, the lines into the space a lot. Shalulile was just great. And yeah, we were not close. We didn't follow the, the man. We could not make more as five passes. So all in all, it was not good enough from us. But I think that we, until now, uh, I don't want to let anything on my players because we play until now a very great season. Games like this happening. But like I said, we have to analyze the thing well and we have to improve on this stage and we will and the games will come. Good evening, Coach. <coughs> Carabos from Sport. Uh, what exactly disappointed you the most from your team and what are the lessons that you take from this performance going into the next match? No, I would not say that I am disappointed from my team. I just said we didn't play well, but I can also understand that we are all human being it happening if we if you take now the last 15 games i think that we lost only two games so and games like this happening we also have a, a lot of young guys in our squad we have to understand it and i will never say anything about or against my team in a, Ne or like in a in a in a bad way or in a in a uh, uh, negative way because they don't deserve it. They just uh, deserve the, the best and the biggest praises because when you see how we play now this season, I think it's just beautiful. We have still um, six more games. I think everything is in our hands. We want to be in the top eight spot. Yes games like this happening we are not happy but we have to prepare ourselves because the next game is soon i think in four days again so we 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 don't have time so much we have to get it in the next game right and i think we will and we will bounce back coach uh, the eight card of mongai um, 
I didn't get to see it again, but apparently it was a very bad tackle. Um, could it have been premeditated from the player because it's very ironic which player he was challenging? I did not. I, I didn't see the thing either. I I have to see it. But I think that, um, ironically, he's the player that injured Paka, yes, but I can be sure that no one from our team will do anything on purpose. So I heard from Supersport that Mr. Sunshine said that we, or that maybe we should, or we did it on purpose to, to do something. I think to say something like this is very, very low. And I didn't want to comment about it because I, I learned from the past that um, if, a proper, if a person advertise his ignorance, you don't have to do actually so, so much. You just let him talk and this is what I will do. But I can promise you guys that we are a team we stick to fair play. We want that the sport you unite and not divide. And we will never do anything on purpose to hurt anyone. And this is our rules in our team. And this will be until the club will will, will uh, uh, exit. We will always uh, be a fair team. Coach, Kotatsu uh, from Hope Online Radio. I wanted to ask Coach, um, normally when teams play against that Sundowns, they normally come in with a low block and try to defend and hit them on the counter. But you noticed that with your team, it was almost that you're trying to play the game and not start off in the low block. And that then perhaps will, is part of the reason maybe why the scoreline is that 3 no. What was your plan going into the game? And perhaps why would you not then take that similar approach as to other teams? because we have our style of play and we want to stick to our style of play, to our football philosophy. Yes, we could go on a low block, and but you don't have guarantee that you will succeed because how many teams succeed with the low block here? Not so much, huh? So the thing is that um, we know that Sundowns is a good team, but we want to get every every uh, game that we can play to get even more experience, to learn more, to improve more, and we will take it, but we will not change our style of play. Because it is, it is a process. We have a lot of young players in our squad, and my philosophy is that we should, everyone in this league, I think it is the best if we can improve our team why? Because if we, if everyone, and we have a lot of fantastic uh, uh, coaches in our league, if every team improves, what will, what will happen then? Then probably the uh, points or the margin up front to win the title, it will be very small, right? So then everybody get the challenge, like to, 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 to improve even more. And if we do it, in our league, if we improve, then of course uh, we will have teams that win the Champions League every season. And this should be the goal. And if we can reach this kind of level to, um, to give also Sundowns every game, the toughest game what we can give, then I think then uh, South Africa can be not one of the best, the, the best league in our in, in Africa. So I think that uh, we should just take it, try to improve our teams, and the uh, time will come, hopefully, that the gap between Sundowns and other teams will be smaller. Yes, we, we know that we don't have this kind of financial power, but we have to find other sol solutions and other ways how we can compete. It's a tough job. But the job of a coach, I think, is to teach, to, to educate value and to inspire the players. 
and of course to that they can achieve and surpass their potential. And this is my job and I think that we do a great job with my staff too, together. And that's why we stick to our uh, style of play and we want to improve there and we need these kind of games like uh, now to see where we should even more improve because this is how you bounce back, how you improve and hopefully we can be a better team. Last two questions. Coach, just a word on uh, Ben Parker's return. I know you missed the penalty, but I think the more important thing here is that he's back and he's playing football again. I think that uh, Parker is having an inspiration for all of us to get back after this really, really horrible injury. Not many people would, would uh, believe that Parker will be back that quick or actually would be back at all because of his age. But then you can see what a great inspiration he is for a lot of players that have this kind of maybe bad injury that everything is uh, 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 possible. And we are just happy and lucky to witness this one with Parker, what a mentally strong guy he is and he deserves to be back into the uh, team and it's just unbe unbelievable and we are just happy to, 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 to witness that everything in your life is possible if you have a great attitude, great lifestyle, fantastic uh, character and of course the discipline and this is what he is, this is what he is practicing and this babe and, and he's in, I think, in a lot of things, excellence, this became a habit of him and this is who he is, and we are just happy about it to have him in our team. Last question, Skelpi. Coach, I look at the, the table. Uh, the second Champions League spot looks to be between, you know, Pirates and Stellenbosch, and then also the Confed Cup space is a bit congested there. What would be a successful season for TS Galaxy in your, with, with the games that are left in your view? How, how many of you, if you are honest, if we sold seven players, key, how many of you thought that we, that we have a chance to be in the top eight spot? Not many of you, huh? I think I think if we are honest to each other, most of you thought that we will fight for the, for the relegation spot. What we did? We, we did a hard job. It's not just easy. It, it's not just you just uh, dance at the training and you play well and you get in the, to, 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 in the top eight spot. It means to have, to reach the top eight spot, it will be for us, just like to win the league. Because for us, it's a process. And we are new in this league, I think the two or three and a half seasons. And the best thing is that when you see after I came, I cannot talk what happened before me. I can only talk when I arrived that we improved in every stage. Now I think that we wrote history. We have 37 points. This never happened before. So it's the right step. And this is because it's us against us. We compare us to improve in every way, to make it better and better. It's a very, very hard job, I can promise you. But I have to give a lot of credit to my players because they train intense, they want to improve, they have a great character, great lifestyle, and this makes us where we are. It's because of the players. And I have to also give a lot of credit, of course, to my staff. I'm just the smallest part here, but I'm happy about it. And we want to be in the top eight spot if we get more up at the lock table, we will be more happy, of course. But top eight spot, it will be for us just unbelievable success. Okay. Thank you, coach. Thank you, colleagues. Good luck for the next match. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.